Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel. My name's Jeremy. Now, if you ask the internet, what's the most legendary saxophone ever made? You're bound to get one answer, and that's the legendary Selma Mark VI. Now, I talked a little bit about the Mark VI in the previous video I made, which was a buyer's guide for beginner saxophones. And in that video, I explained some of the reasons why it has such a legendary reputation. But I wanna introduce another contender for that title today, and that is the humble Yamaha YAS23, sold in some countries as the AS100. Now, if you looked up a list of professional players, past and present, and see what they play on, the Mark VI would have the YAS23 beat hands down. But if you look at the current crop of professional players out there, I could say very confidently that more of them would have started on this instrument than any other kind of saxophone. So what makes the YAS23 so special? Well, Yamaha started production of these saxophones in 1980 in their Toyuka factory in Japan, which over the years developed an outstanding reputation for quality. And this is significant because just two years earlier, the company had released another legendary saxophone, the YAS62, which they developed through consultation with the great classical saxophonist Eugene Russo after six years of development. So it's safe to say that the engineers, the factory, and even the design of the sax itself would have been deeply influenced from that process. Now, the best news of all for us living in 2020 and beyond is that these saxophones are still out there and in relatively high numbers. Plus, for the price that you pay, which is around 500 US dollars, they are exceptional value for money. And if you're playing the tenor, then don't worry, you're not being left out. The tenor version of this sax is the YTS23 and the YTS100, depending on where you live. So the last thing for me to do is to give you a demonstration of this saxophone so you can hear what it sounds like. But before I do that, a quick note. Yamaha actually stopped manufacturing this sax in 2012, and they replaced it with the YAS26 and another model, the YAS280. Now, they made a couple of small improvements on the 26, an adjustable thumb rest being probably the most useful of the bunch, but for the most part, the overall design remained the same. The biggest change though, was the place of manufacture, which they moved out of Japan to other parts of Asia, namely Malaysia, Indonesia, and China. Now, if you go to some online forums, you're bound to find a few people who have sworn off these new instruments, mainly due to concerns over quality. All I can say is that I have tried many of these new types of Yamaha saxophones that students have brought to me, and personally, I've never experienced a dip in quality. Now, the main reason that I would go for a 23 model over a 26 or a 280 just comes down to price. The YAS 280, which is a fantastic instrument, comes in at just over a thousand US dollars brand new. But the YAS 23, you can pick up for around half of that price. Now, if you set on buying a brand new sax, by all means, I've put a link to that YAS 280 in the description below. But for now, it's back to the 23 and it's time for a sound demonstration. Now to make it fair, you're gonna hear this saxophone with a stock student model mouthpiece and we'll compare that to the sound of my professional Mayer jazz mouthpiece just so you get an idea of the difference in sound. So let's take a listen.
So as you can hear, the YAS23 sounds great. I can tell you that it feels great to play and at around 500 US dollars, it's really remarkable value for money. Now guys, before I go, I just wanna let you know that if you're starting the saxophone from scratch, and you're not sure where to begin, then check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. It's a complete package for learning the saxophone from scratch. It comes as a digital download on the Sax Tuition website and you can download it to your computer or device. There's 12 lesson videos and that's over three hours of content. There's a 68 page ebook packed full of fun songs and exercises. And there's over 200 play along tracks that accompany the songs and exercises in the book. You can learn on your own schedule. You can take as long or as short as you like. Plus there's a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. Now you can start learning for free right here on YouTube. So I've put a link to lesson one in the description below. I've also linked to the Sax Tuition website so you can learn more about the beginner series. And if you're ready to take the plunge, you can purchase it and download it from there. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel for more great saxophone content. I'll see you all again soon.